Hey what's up guys, Davis here and today we're comparing these two phones The ITL S23 Plus Right here on my left To the Samsung Galaxy A14 On my right here So starting off with the specifications So the ITL S23 Plus here Has the Unisoc T616 With 4GB of RAM Though you can get it with 8GB of RAM And for the Galaxy A14 here I have the MediaTek Helio G80 version Though there are others with different uh, chipsets yeah there's i think an exynos variant of this phone right and uh for this case it has 4gb of ram and uh, you can also spec it up to 6gb of ram though so for both of these i have 4gb ram variants right so that out of the way you can start off with the comparison let's check that we have no apps in the background of it so starting off with the speed test starting off with phone i think that was first on the f14 contact I think that was closer to your tie but you guys can always make your own judgment yeah based on what you see sometimes i don't <laughs> exactly you're yeah, looking at these phones i'm looking at the viewfinder here the camera yeah so you guys can always make your own judgment as to which is faster settings okay let's reopen that i think the galaxy a14 has issues with uh, screen re responsiveness i've seen this multiple times sometimes you just Tap on something and it doesn't open. Let's do that again. Settings. I think that was slightly worse in the ITL. Camera. Let's close it to a tie. Instagram. Right. I think that was closer to a tie. Chrome. So then this was first on the a14 here. Play Store. F14. GG. I think that was ITEL very slightly. YouTube. Oops, right. Again, the F14. <laughs> Let's just reopen that. YouTube. Okay, I think that was slightly faster on the ATL. Spotify. Okay, I think that's the Galaxy F14. Okay, Master. Right, so I think this added off with an ad, but yeah. Okay, I call that a tie. They both opened it up, but uh, we can go ahead and check for the device performance capability. So, as you guys can see, on the F14, you can edit up to 1440p, yeah, basically equal HD. And uh, maximum on the ITL S20 Plus is uh, full HD 1080p, yeah. So, when it comes to the layers, yeah, the Galaxy F14 is certainly better right there in raw performance, okay. So let's move on to the games, starting off with Temple Run. All right, so I think that's very close, but yeah, the idea of the 23 Plus is slightly ahead. That. All right, so moving on to FC Mobile. Just make sure you have no sound on both. I don't want any audio. Great. We want FC Mobile. Go. Right. So I think that's slightly faster on the. Actually, it's 20 plus. Right, so now that you're done opening the apps, the RAM management. So in this, I'm going to just um, open the apps randomly. Just going to select random apps and open them, and we see if they're still in memory. Right. So we're going to start off with Play Store. Let's see if both have it in memory. Okay. Right. So 
the item reloads that, but the Samsung has this in memory. Let's go to settings. Okay, the item is seemingly reopening it. Instagram. Okay, both seem to be opening. Instagram again. Reopening Instagram from. Okay, both seeming to have it in memory. Fan Master. Samsung has it in memory. ITL doesn't. Temporan. ITL reopens it. Samsung has it in memory. Spotify. Samsung has it in memory. ITL is reopening it. You see mobile. Okay, I think both have it in memory by the looks of it. Right. So when it comes to RAM management, I think generally I'll say the yeah the Galaxy A14 here has an advantage. Yeah, when it comes to RAM management, they both have the same amount of RAM physically. 4GB, 4GB, but yeah, maybe Samsung handles it better. Right, so moving on to the full comparison. So for the full comparison, I'll start off comparing the displays on these devices. And uh, without a doubt, the display on the ITL S23 Plus here is much better. I mean, it's AMOLED capped and uh, yeah, really, really nice. So, so seemingly larger, at least physically, when I'm using these two phones here, yeah, it's yeah, visibly larger. And it also has uh, slimmer bezels all around. It really looks premium. I think there's no comparing these two displays. The ITL S23 Plus has a far better display in my view i think to anyone anyway <laughs> yeah the only thing it really likes is uh maybe 90 hertz refresh rate or yeah 120 maybe something like that but other outside of that i think it's a really really good display especially at this price point right so that's for the display i would say that uh yeah the display is much better on the s20 plus there's no comparison right so the other thing i want to talk about for the comparison is um the battery life on here so I think the battery on this two is quite similar, but uh, the advantage the S23 Plus here has is uh, the charging speed. It charges slightly faster at 18 watts versus 15 watts on here. Yeah, might not make much of a difference to most people, but yeah, yeah, this slightly, yeah, charges faster. They have the same capacity, 5000 mAh, but uh, yeah, the S23 Plus charges faster. For the battery life, I would say that uh, yeah, there's really not much in it. You can't go wrong with either of these, yeah. They both have solid battery life, but uh, yeah, the IT less than the plus charges faster. So that's for the battery. And uh, when it comes to performance, as you guys have seen in the comparison, I think generally I'll say, I'll say that, uh, yeah, for real performance, I think, yeah, the G80, the Helio G80 that we have in the Galaxy A14 may perform better and might have better support in most games versus this Unisoc T616 that you have in the ITL. S23 Plus, but uh, yeah, when it comes to performance, there's not really much in it again, I would say. Yeah, they're really close, they're really closely matched when it comes to performance as well, but uh, yeah, I'll give this light edge to the Galaxy A14 in this case. Yeah, and uh, you might have better support in certain games because, uh, yeah, the chipset has been around longer, right? So, I think I'll be comparing here is um, the cameras. So, when it comes to the cameras, uh, <laughs> It's a mixed bag, right? So um, both of these phones have a uh, 50 megapixel main sensors at the back, and uh, yeah, it's only the everything that has an ultra wide, MP ultra wide, not really the best quality, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not something that you can brag about. Yeah, the 5 MP ultra wide, okay, it gives you another perspective, it gives you a wider field of view, but the quality is really not the best, so it's not really that usable. But anyway, it's there. When it comes to the quality on the main sensors, I'll say that uh, for the photos, they are really closely matched. For the video, I'll prefer the, yeah, the Galaxy F14 over here. Uh, I'll be putting up sample shots for you guys to see and videos for you guys to take a look and uh, make your own mind up on which one you prefer. I'll be putting up some photos and some videos taken on either of these for you guys to make your own decision. Yeah, but. If I was to choose for myself, I would say that, uh, yeah, for the photos, I might um, lean towards the S23 Plus here, especially for the selfie photos. The selfie photos are much better than the ones you get on the Galaxy A14, surprisingly. I was actually surprised 
that yeah this has the 32 megapixel selfie so camera the ideal s3 plus versus the 13 that you have on the a14 on here which are the photos are much better on the front facing camera especially from the ideal s3 plus but i would prefer the videos from the galaxy a14 all around yeah so that's for the cameras i'll be putting up some sample videos and our photos for you guys to see yeah right so Moving on to the software, so for the software you have ITL OS on the ITL S20 Plus versus one UI core that you get on the Samsung Galaxy A14 and there's no comparison between those obviously. The one UI core for me is better and I have at least a, a guarantee of two years software updates on these um, yeah, mid-range, yeah, lower mid-range phones from Samsung, the Galaxy A14 for example. You can be sure you're going to get a minimum of two OS updates. Well, for ITL, you're not sure. They don't really promise you anything. Yeah. So that's about um, the software. Uh, so that's all for the video, guys. And I think I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.